The province of Negros Oriental is divided after the May 9th election, who will be the new governor of the province. The election dilemma of government candidates Rol de Gamo versus Newsom's candidate Rul de Gamo will not be handled by the Kamalek in Negros Oriental. According to the Kamalek, they do not have the authority. The Commission on Elections, Kamalek, in Negros Oriental does not have the authority to transfer the votes earned by a nuisance candidate who has been disqualified from the elections to the legitimate poll bet. In an interview on Thursday, lawyer Lionel Marco Castellano, Kamalek Negros Oriental Provincial Election Supervisor, made the clarification amid complaints and verifications from some quarters on the defeat of incumbent Governor Rol de Gamo in the May 9 elections. Digamo lost to Bayawan City Mayor Pride Henry Tevis by 19,546 votes. The incumbent chief executive earned 281,773 votes while the Bayawan mayor earned 301,319 votes, records at the provincial Kamalek here showed. Digamo's camp, however, said the incumbent governor is the rightful winner if the votes of a nuisance candidate bearing the same name except differently spelled, would be transferred to him as that would put him in the lead against Tebas. They are now taking legal steps to have the matter settled. The other candidate, Rul de Gamo, whose real name is mentioned in the disqualification case filed before the Kamalek is Grego de Gamo, garnered 49,953 votes in Monday's polls. The governor, on his Facebook page, showed a Kamalek decision declaring the other de Gamo as a nuisance candidate. He cited a specific case, Santos v. Kamalek, where the poll body ruled that the votes of the nuisance candidate be automatically transferred to the legitimate candidate. But Castellano said the decision is not yet final and executory as there is a pending motion for reconsideration at the Kamalek in Bank on the governor's petition for the cancellation of rules certificate of candidacy. It is only the Kamalek in Bank that can rule on this petition, and in the event Rol de Gamo wins, the proclamation will be held in Manila and not here because we and the provincial board of canvassers have already wrapped up our activities, he said. We proclaimed Henry Tebas as the winning candidate based on the actual votes that he earned during the recent elections, he added. Castellano said there are about 1,000 disqualification cases that the Kamalek InBank is currently handling, and it is now up to the legal team of Governor DeGamo to follow up on the disqualification case of rule with the poll body in Manila.